Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sophia. Today I'm going to be painting the checkered pattern on a harlequin. It was not really easy for me either because it's really hard to achieve a tight and compact diamond pattern. So you will see how I struggled here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before I start the video, I do have one question for you guys. I'm thinking of streaming live video on Twitch. So if I decide to do that, would y'all be interested? If so, please follow me on Twitch channel, and this is my Twitch channel. I hope to see you guys over there too. Anyways, now grab your brush and let's explore. Thank you. Video starts right now. So these are the colors you'll need today. So here, as you can see, I can't see shit, so I had to call it. And this one, I think those diamonds look too loose. So no. So yeah, third time's a charm. Here we go. I'm going to start drawing the lines using Wraith Bone. So you can totally draw horizontal lines to help draw the diamonds, but I found it very confusing. You know, it's already a really small surface, having all those quote-unquote guidelines was actually more of a hassle, so I just used the vertical lines only. So the reason you need the center line is to help the X we're about to draw. So you want the center of the X to meet the center line. Um, okay, I'll show you. Here, you just want to make sure to keep the spacing even on all of the subsequent parallel lines. Now, here's what I meant by meeting the center of the X to the center line. Again, just keep the spacing even on all of the subsequent parallel lines. I'm going to paint my Harlequins a black and pink theme, so I'm going to use Pink Horror as a base color. You can use Screamer Pink here, but that was way too dark for what I was going for, so yeah. Now, at this point, you don't really have to worry about the lines being clean, just try not to cover all the guidelines, but you can totally make mistakes here, it's fine. Just try to fill up the space thoroughly. Now we're going to use a bat and black to clean up and try to reclaim the space that we put pink for by mistake. Now before we move on to the next stage, you want to make sure that everything is clean and neat. So feel free to go over multiple times to fix the shape. I'm going to use faux grim pink to paint smaller diamonds inside the existing diamond. or remove pink horror to fragrant pink to reflect the mess and volume of the leg. So for example, add a smaller amount of pink horror in the medium tone area, add more pink horror to the dark tone area, and add a touch of pink horror to the light tone area. That makes sense. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the black diamonds. For that, I'm going to use graphite from scale color. Do the same thing here, add or remove a bad and black to graphite to reflect the curved surface. Looks pretty good so far. I'm going to use Valley Hose White to crisp up the edges of the diamonds. I'd say don't go over the pink horror part or the abandoned black part. Just put a line on the inner diamonds. Now there you have it. Mm -hmm. 
well, tis the season, right? So I brought a little bonus video of unboxing the Red Gabo. Previous Star Red Gabo was one of my first minis and I loved my Red Gabo, so I'm super excited about this boy. I don't know, I might do a freehand banner for this guy. his face. I love all the details on the base as well. Well, there you go. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment as well. I'll see you guys in two weeks with freehand Harley Quinn logo.